Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, I want to show you how we can take address data from a Microsoft Excel workbook and convert it using geocoding to the longitude and latitude spatial data. Let's get started. Starting out, let's take a look at our data. In this example, we'll just be using a few addresses in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. This data is local on my computer, so we'll have to upload it to Wayscript once we get to that step. Next, let's sign into Wayscript and click on Create a New Script, and we'll call this one Geocoding. Click Create. There's only a few steps that we need to do to get this working. The first step is to load in our data from that Microsoft Excel workbook. To do this, we'll click on Excel and drag it into our workflow. We'll need to set this up, so we'll click on Upload File, then choose the file that you want to upload. Mine is called sampleaddresses.xlsx. We'll open this, and we'll override any copies that we have. Once we upload it, we see that all the information that we need is here. We'll import this column, and we'll call this the address list. If you're familiar with the programming language, what this does is create a list object for us to iterate over. If you're not, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it in the next step. To iterate over these entries, we would put in a loop as our next step. We'll drag that in and drop it into our workflow. The variable that we want to iterate over was that one that we just created in address list, and we'll just leave the default of address list item to be each iteration. So far, we've read in our data and we're iterating over each one in that workbook. Now we need to geocode or find the spatial information of each of those entries. We can do this using the MapQuest API. So we'll drag in MapQuest into our loop and drop it here. The default mode for this is geocoding, so we can leave it as that default. And then the address that we want to geocode is that address that we're iterating over. So we'll drag that and drop it in. We'll select our outputs as latitude and longitude. We see that once we select those outputs, that they're created down here. If we were to run this script right now, we would iterate over each one and get the spatial data. But we don't have a way of storing that spatial data just yet. So let's store this spatial data into a Microsoft Excel worksheet. We'll click off MapQuest and drag in the Excel module. We'll change the mode to Write File, and then we'll choose a file to write. In our example, we'll just create a new one. So this will be spatialdata.xlsx, and we'll click Create File. We'll leave the default of Add to File selected, and then we'll choose our outputs for this Excel sheet. The first output we should have is the address list item. Next, we'll create more columns in this worksheet by clicking the plus. We'll pull in the latitude for the first column, and then we'll pull in the longitude for the second column. You can see the data preview underneath, and this is what we have. We only have one entry right now, but we're getting a new entry each time we iterate in this for loop. Let's see the result and run the script. We'll click on Run Main, and we get back an Excel workbook that we can download. We'll click on it, and once we open it up, we get back all of those addresses that we had in the previous workbook, now geocoded with their spatial data to the right. And that's it for this one. If you have any questions, as always, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. If you have any suggestions on future videos or any functionality that you want to see on the website, please let us know that too. Until next time.